Hello all, my name is Ben Heinley. I'm a project geologist here at Sequent. In the next couple minutes, I will be showing you how to offset borehole IDs so they don't conflict with the surface, so that it just makes it a little bit easier to read the whole ID text. Now we are in LeapFrog. I already have some color IDs in the scene, or hole IDs in the scene um, with a topography. And you can see, if I zoom in especially, that they are conflicting with the topography, and it's just making it hard to read those hole IDs. And we have the ability to offset these hole IDs so that they can be either above or below their default set point. And the way that we change that is we'll click on the hole ID object in the shapes list, make sure that you have your text turned on, and then we'll go into the format display text option in the properties panel. And in the properties panel, your whole ID element will likely be displayed already. If it's not, you can go to this drop down and choose it. All we have to do here to offset the whole ID text is add some enter keys after the whole ID element. You'll hopefully see that the text is going up and up, offsetting off that default set point. If you needed to, you could also go the other direction. So I can put enter keys before the element and it will move it downwards. I'm going to go back to adding a few to make it go upwards. I'm also going to just quickly change the color for all these whole IDs. I do not want them to be a function of their name, which basically assigns a random color. I'm just going to make them a flat color, so I'll click on the element and I'll click flat color. And now they're all black. And you can see that they've all been offset and they're now all above this topography, making it easier to view the whole IDs. Thank you for watching.